A protest in Sydney, Australia, erupted on Friday. Xiao Tian, China's ambassador to Australia, had been in the middle of a speech at the University of Technology, Sydney, when demonstrators interrupted. During his remarks to the university's Australia-China Relations Institute, several protesters entered holding signs about Tibet, Xinjiang and Hong Kong independence. China is Australia's largest trading partner and the top customer for its iron ore. But relations between them have deteriorated in recent years. Beijing imposed an array of trade sanctions on Australian products in a move widely seen as retaliation. That's after Australia called for an investigation into the origins of COVID-19 and banned Chinese telecom giant Huawei from its 5G network. Citing the Huawei ban, Ambassador Xiao blamed Australia for causing the breakdown of ties. He said the ban, quote, perhaps could be described as the first shot that really damaged our normal business relations. He also called for Canberra's newly elected government to take action. Australian Deputy Prime Minister Richard Marles also made recent remarks about Australia's relationship with China. Thursday marked the last day of his visit to India. There, he noted that both India and Australia have significant trade ties with Beijing. But he touched on another aspect as well. Uh, you know, for India and for Australia, China is our largest trading partner. For India and Australia, uh, China is our biggest security anxiety. We're both trying to reconcile those things, which is not an easy problem to solve. The United States, India, Japan and Australia together make up the four Indo-Pacific nations known as the Quad. The Quad is seen as a counterweight to China.